This is Duke University. If you ask me in the abstract uh, what my preference would be in terms of how to address the racial disparity in wealth, I would say let's introduce a reparations program. But at this particular moment, historically, even the President of the United States, who is an African American, is opposed to reparations. And so we began to think about the development of a program that could be directed at the children, the newly born children, of families that we describe as being wealth poor. So a wealth poor family would be one whose, uh, whose wealth position or net worth falls below the median for all Americans. So we would take all of those households, <coughs> examine whether or not they have a newborn child during a given year, and if that newborn child is uh, a member of a family that is wealth poor, we would give that child a federally provided trust fund. We call this a baby bond, okay? And this federally provided trust fund would be graduated so that the more distant the family is below the median for all American households with, or families with respect to wealth, the higher the trust fund amount that would be assigned to the newborn infant. So at the, uh, for those infants that are born into families in the very lowest quartile of the wealth distribution, <coughs> we would give them a trust fund that would be in the amount of fifty to sixty thousand dollars. And we would reduce that amount as families get closer and closer to, to the median. Kids would not be able to access this trust fund until they reach uh, 18 years of age. And then there's the possibility of, of placing some limitations or restrictions on the ways in which this trust fund could be used. Perhaps it could be restricted in part to uh, educational expenses. And we think that this would be a very, very interesting and effective way to try to address the staggering wealth inequalities that exist in this society. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.